Hello! Good morning, brothers and sisters! Good morning sa inyo lahat! Aga-aga, ang dami ng energy, ah! Magandang araw, mga kapatid! <laughs> Sabi ni Mama Jen! I'm Adi Tapiador, and I am blessed to be welcoming you to one of the happiest places in the online world, you know? Welcome to Feast at Home! Happy Blessed Sunday, everyone! Good morning! Hi, doll! Good morning! Hi, D! Ayan! <laughs> so, thank you for being with us today. Jocelyn, good morning and blessed Sunday to us all. Yes, good morning sa inyo. Welcome to Peace at Home, sabi ni Vivian. Help us spread this live stream no, by tagging your friends. Good morning! Sabi ni Elizabeth, good morning po sa inyo. <laughs> Gandang umaga. Good morning then, sis Glenda! With sun emoji. Ayan! Mag-host na kayo ng watch party, like and share this live stream. Ana, happy blessed Sunday! Magandang araw, magandang araw sa inyo! <laughs> Hello! Wow, grabe ang energy ng mga feasters. Good morning! Sabi ni Buddy. Sis Buddy, good morning! <laughs> Ayan, why we're waiting for more people to come in, oh, mag-chikahan lang tayo. Natividad, good morning! Good morning sa'yo! Good morning, sis! Sabi ni Lilibeth, good morning sa'yo! <laughs> Meron ba kayo mga gustong i-greet? Mga birthdays or anniversaries? Sige, i-greet na natin ngayon, no? Habang tinatag pa natin yung mga friends natin. <laughs> Thank you po! Thank you po, sis buddy! Good morning ulit! Shout out happy anniversary kay Kuya Chris de Guzman and Ate Leilani Casio de Guzman. Happy anniversary po! Ay, sabi ni Sis jo- Jocelyn. Good morning, Adi. Ay, hello, Sis Car. <laughs> good morning sa'yo. Jenny, good morning to you. Good morning. Isend nyo lang dyan yung mga ipapabati mo. From Feast Las Vegas. From Cindy, good morning to you. Good morning. Edel, happy and blessed Sunday. Yes, happy blessed Sunday, everyone. O, baka meron mga first-timers dyan, ano? Kung first time mo dito sa stream na to, napintot mo lang, you know, itype mo, I am a first-timer, and for sure, maraming mag sa sa'yo. Katulad ni Marilu, ayan, good morning, mga alabang, feasters, happy, happy Sunday. Si Ed, good morning, everyone daw, sabi niya, happy blessed Sunday. And of course, balik tayo sa mga first-timers na we want to connect with you more after this session. So, kung first-timer ka, wala ka pa masyadong kilala, gusto mo ng community of people, nako, napaka-welcoming ng mga feasters. Sali ka dyan sa FBAM Welcome Party. I-save mo na yung link na yan. Kita-kits tayo mamaya after this session. All right. <laughs> Thank you din sa so nag-invite sa'yo sa live stream. Good morning, Monet! Good morning sa'yo! Jesse, I am a first-timer! Wow! Welcome natin si Jesse. Happy Sunday to you! Blessed wedding day to Michelle Almanzor and Ramon Rojala, sabi ni Zaidi. Happy, happy wedding day! Happy blessed wedding day! Happy 16th anniversary to you and your hubby, Jose Alberto. Happy anniversary po! Happy anniversary, Sis Marilu! Good morning sa mga titas ni Justin, <laughs> Carmanuel, Glenda, Chel, Marie, Marie Jo, Pagdilaw, Shane, Ganalon, sabi ni Sis Buddy. Hello, good morning sa mga titas! Good morning, Loy! Good morning sa'yo! Wow, grabe! Ay, iba talaga energy. Happy anniversary kay Sis, uh, kay Sis Lani and Brother Chris. Good morning, good morning. Happy Lord's Day. Nakakatuwa naman. Ay, para sa mga first timer dyan, you know, the feast is just a weekly prayer gathering with worship and practical talks. And this is just one of the many feasts all over the country. Surely, first timer. O, iba tiin natin siya. Hello, welcome to the feast. Sali ka mamaya sa ano, welcome party. Vivian, happy Sunday, Jinky Eunice. Be blessed. Yeah, be blessed. Happy blessed Sunday. Happy birthday, Joy Serra. Sabi ni Zaidi, happy birthday to you. More candles to blow. Good morning, Shirley. Ayan, ang dami-dami nating mga paganap dito sa Feast Bellevue. No? So, other than Feast at Home, we also have Quarry Start every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Secret Shares. On FB and YouTube every Tuesday, Mommy 
every Friday with Sis Lelaine and our resident gratitude girl, Helene. We also have a podcast, no? Umagang kay Gogna, if mahili ka makinig ng podcast like me. And if you wanna be prayed for personally, you know, meron kayong mga intentions na gustong i-lift up, ipagdasal, eto, cope is here for you. And this happens every first and third Sunday of the month. So, meron ulit this October 21. So, this Thursday na yan, napaka-powerful ng prayers, brothers and sisters. So, I really encourage for you to try it out. And, syempre, bago ko makalimutan, ano, sino mo mga I Give Club members dyan? Baka meron na sa comment section. Good morning! Of course, we want to celebrate you for answering the call to serve and to give. So, meron tayo sa October 23. Yan, naka-flash sa screen. May afternoon of bonding, fun, and prizes. So, huwag nyo kakalimutan. Just save the date. Screenshot nyo na yan. Huwag nyo kakalimutan. And check out our FB page for more meeting details. And before I forget, Ayan, sabi ni Jinky, I'm excited for today's talk. Pang pawala na anxiety. I feel you, sis Jinky. I agree. I'm also looking forward to the talk. And speaking of talks, we have biggest talk ever, which is Feast Conference. Siyempre, I've been a KCON or Feast Con attendee for the last couple of years, and it never failed to amaze me. Lagi ako may babaunin na talks. So this year's title is Joyful, Joyful. Alam mo yun, sa hirap ng buhay ngayon, papatanong ka talaga yun. Eh, will things ever change? And in moments like this, it's good to pause, you know, take a deep breath. Why? Because there is still joy, and joy exists in spite of the crisis. So please join us. Tickets start at 9.95, and yep, it's on November 19 to 22.21. More details will be posted in our Facebook. Alright, that's it for the announcements this week. Good morning, happy Sunday from from Jadigo. Welcome to Feast at Home. Good morning, good morning sa inyong lahat. Ano ba mga nilulok forward niyo this week? Happy Blessed Sunday, Lisa! Ako nilulok forward ko yung ending ni, ano eh, ni Hong Banjang at ni Miss Dentist. <laughs> Mayroon pa sa inyo nakaka-relate dyan, hometown, cha-cha-cha. <laughs> hello, Ellen! Ellen, hello! Oh ha, alam niyo na, mga nilulok forward niyo, uh, mga virtual meetings, ganyan. Uy, Vivian, happy, happy Blessed Sunday! Happy anniversary ulit! Ayan, kay Brother Chris and Sis Lani. Ayan, God bless you and your family even more! Good morning, Sis Je! Ayan, happy to serve! Aww, hello, hello! Good morning, everyone, sabi ni Jomel! Ayan, chikahan niya naman ako! Ano mga nilulok forward nyo? Happy Blessed Sunday, Mildred! Loving the energy, syempre, di ba? Kapag ka-powerful yung talk, dapat powerful din yung host. <laughs> Yes, good morning! Sabi ni Earl Estrera. Hello! Alright! Good morning, sabi ni Jenny Ong. Good morning! Happy Blessed Sunday! Done sharing. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. If you haven't yet, you know, please like, share this live stream para marami pa tayong ma-bless. Happy Blessed Sunday from Bemboy! Happy Blessed Sunday po! Good morning, sabi ni Elizabeth! All right. Let's speak of sharing and sharing. You know, we can also share our blessings through love offering, and you can give through direct bank deposit, credit card, PayPal, and dami dami paraan. Ayan, uh, may BDO tayo, and you can just go to feastalabang.com/give to learn more about how you can give and bless others. All right, we are down to our last minute. Grave. Traveling, yes. Oh, oh, nako ako din Elizabeth. I'm looking forward to traveling again. <laughs> I agree. Good morning, Garden. Ang dito naman ng name mo, ZLA. Good morning. Blessed morning to you. Okay. Looking forward na matanggap ina aplen. Oh yes, we are with you. You have our prayers. Sana matanggap ka ng sa ina aplen ng company. <laughs> Seeing me in secret chairs again. Ayan, i-claim na natin yan, no? I-ma-manifest <laughs> All right. So here at Feast at Home, we always start our day with full of energy, with prayer and worship. You know, we love to sing praises. Looking forward na ma-bless sa meeting ko. Yes, it's Jocelyn. I pray na ma-bless ka sa meeting mo tomorrow. 
So today's worship will be led by Erica Mariano. So get in your most comfortable position and get ready to worship. Thank you. God bless. Hello everyone and welcome to Peace at Home. Thank you for saying yes to receiving God's message to you today. I invite you wherever you are if you're tuned in with your family or maybe you're working right now kung nasaan ka man to come and worship. Wherever you are, if you're feeling happy or you're not in the mood to face Him right now, to come and still worship. In whatever circumstance you may be in, know that God is with you. Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come to you in surrender today. We lift up to you the battles that we are facing, battles that we fight silently, those that we seem to be losing, and those that we have already lost. We know that you are with us as we continue to fight, and that you are God 
even in the defeat. We will never be alone because you and your perfect love remains constant. We will stand up again and continue to fight because we have a powerful and victorious God fighting with us. So we come to you in surrender today with our battle wounds and scars, opening our hearts to you in worship. Amen.
God is here. God is here now. Wherever you are, God is there with you. So enjoy his presence today here at Feast at Home. Let us pray our favorite prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. One big message today in this talk is this. Your Easter Sunday is coming. Your Easter Sunday is coming. Tell that to people around you. Come on, go. Kung may katabi ka, sabihin mo sa kanya, Your Easter Sunday is coming. And type it if you can. Type it. Tell the world, Your Easter Sunday is coming. Go, go. Your Easter Sunday is coming. Yes. Let us make this online feast at home. Alive in your house. Tell people your Easter Sunday is coming. Tell the world your Easter Sunday is coming. Go, go, go. Show their responses. Come on. Your Easter Sunday is coming. Let the Lord tell you that truth in this wonderful talk. Before we dive into the talk, press that share button as well so that your friends, your world will know what you have been experiencing every beautiful Sunday. New heavens and new earth. Yan. Parang yan ang pag-uusapan natin na malalim ngayon sa ating topic. New heavens New Earth. Sino sa inyo ang gustong pumuntang langit? Sige nga. I ano nyo nga yan? Kung kaya nyo, mga gustong pumunta ng langit? Yan. Okay. If you read the scripture, the sacred text, heaven as we understand it today is not, ito na, is not the number one goal of Jesus' followers. It is not. It should not be. That heaven is your number one goal. No. So what is? Ah, check what Jesus told us to pray in the Lord's Prayer. Ano yung prayer ni Jesus na tinuro sa ating lahat? Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So the goal of you, a follower of Jesus, is not to go to heaven. Your goal, listen, very, very important. Your goal is to bring heaven down to earth. Bring heaven down to earth. Kaya mo ba yan? Yes. Here's another way of saying it. Renewed creation. What is the meaning of that? It is to annex this world for God's kingdom. To live life to the full with Jesus as the Lord. And to make every area of our life, our careers, our family, health, to become the image of God. To be God's love to those who desperately need it. That is what it means to bring heaven to earth. You know, for Jesus followers like you and me, this is a major Paradigm shift. Oh, grabe. Kaya we need to rewire our Christian brains. And my prayer is that you joining the feast at home every week make this happen. That as you join, you your Christian brain is being rewired. 
you know what's the biggest difference between our idea of heaven and what the Bible calls new heavens and new earth? Here it is. That the renewed creation is going to be physical. You know, in the Apostles' Creed, we declare, we believe in the resurrection of the dead. You know, this means we won't just be floating souls in heaven. Hindi lang tayo lumulutang na kaluluwa sa langit. Because each one of us will have a resurrected body someday. This body of yours, itong katawan mo, didikit yan sa kaluluwa mo. Okay? Like Jesus, we can eat in heaven. Ako, hula ko lang, merong pizza sa langit. Pero may kape, oh, may chocolate. Saan? In the renewed creation. Oh, may tanong ako sa inyo. Gusto kong makita ha, ang sagot nyo. Yung mga kaya mag-type. Paki... Isipin nyo nga, ano ang gusto mo meron din sa langit? <clears throat> yung, yung gusto mo dito, yung paborito mo. Tapos sana, pag akit mo ng langit, nandun din siya. Nandun din tong bagay na to. No? Pagkain, o kung ano man. No? Sige nga, pakitype. Ano ang gusto mong meron pa rin sa langit? Can I see your answers? Come on. Come on, everybody, pag-isipan mabuti. Nako, alam ko, pinag-isipan nyo na ng matagal. Wi-Fi! <laughs> gusto ko yan, gusto ko yan. Wi-Fi, di ba? Ano pa? Minatamis. Uy, ang dami. Minatamis, nakamoting ka, hoy. Wow! Uy, ito, si Elizabeth. Gusto ko yung crabs. Gusto ko yung sagot ni Elizabeth. Parang yan din ang sagot ko eh. Tingnan nyo, Dairy Queen Ice Cream. Nakapaborito ko yan. Kape, ayan, rice and pork. My beautiful family, watermelon, steak, ice cream, coffee, Netflix. na ko mga sagot nyo, ha? Wow! Ito, ito ipakita nyo yung sagot ng asawa ko. Pakita nyo yan. Yung Lalaine Lucas Gog. Ikaw. Thank you. Thank you. Milk tea! Talaga! Gusto mo rin ng milk tea. Lecho! <laughs> Macdo! No? Resto! Diba? Long ride! Diba? Kare-kare! Ay! Ang k-drama! Gusto nyo may k-drama sa langit! Diba? O oh, ito! Ito ang renewed creation! Thank you! Ganda na mga sagot nyo ha! O oh, ilagay nyo na yung mga products na binibenta nyo rin. Dali, itype nyo na. Kung nagtitinda ka ng Tupperware, type mo yung Tupperware. <laughs> Kung nagtitinda ka ng pag type mo rin yun para makita nila. Hoy, paano may ganun sa langit? Diba? The Feast Family. Uy, home cha-cha-cha. Hometown cha-cha-cha. Talaga naman. KFC. Diba? Ay. Oh, si Hong Dusik. Sino yan, Bebs? Sino si Hong Dusik? Jackie Chan lang kilala ko eh. No? Lahat ng gusto natin, I guess, I believe. Ito ang mga gusto natin. As ex- they are there. Except that everything is perfected by a zillion times. Zillion times. Helen Sulit. Zillion times perfected. Ang lahat ng gusto natin sa langit. Why? Because God's agenda is not migration. God's agenda is transformation. You know, Christianity is not about building a spaceship to escape to heaven. Christianity is building a city here and now where God's love reigns. Yan! Kaya pag nagdadasal tayo as in, uh, on earth as it is in heaven, we are saying, Lord, let your love reign here. That's why our goal is not just to save souls. Have you noticed that here at the feast? Na ang mga talks natin very practical. Naalala ko many years ago, tinuruan ko pa kayo kung paano maligo. Sa talk, sa feast. Uh, very, very practical. Paano hawakan ng pera? Paano alagaan ng katawan? Paano uh, yung relationship? It is not just, oh, yung kalulo mo, use mo, ha? huwag ka magkasala, para makapunta ka sa langit. No! Here at the feast, we teach you how to live your life in the most Christian and in the most practical way. Yeah, going to heaven is important, but so is bringing heaven to earth, especially to those who are experiencing hell in their lives today. 
You know, when Jesus said in John 10, 10, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. He was saying that abundance does not only mean heaven. Abundance is a personal relationship with God that pervades every dimension of life. Abundant means God's permeating your talking, your walking, your living, your sleeping, your relating in every single moment. That is what a Abundance is. Nag-uumapaw ang Diyos sa bawat hibla ng iyong buhay. Sa bawat sandali ng pangyayari sa mundong ito. You know, this introduction was my way of telling the soil of your heart so that we will be ready for the seed of God's Word. We are going to go to Matthew continuation of what we're talking about. But ito, intro pa lang para mas maintindihan natin at ihanda natin ang ating puso sa kanyang salita. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for giving me time to be here at Feast at Home. Thank you, Lord, for a very, very simple thing, a good internet connection. Pero lahat ng ito, oras, sandali, Wi-Fi connection, internet, lahat ng ito ay plano mo para kausapin mo. At ngayon, Panginoon, I am ready. That is why I am here. I am ready to listen to you. I am ready to follow you. And I am ready for your miracles. This I claim in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to us. Continue to speak to your people. Before I dwell into Matthew, let me exhort you on your giving. These are the ways for you to give. You want to go to heaven, we want to bring heaven on earth, and your giving is a sign that you are saying, Lord, thy kingdom come. Ang iyong kaharian ay maghari dito sa mundong ito. Through my giving, O Lord. Ito po, gamitin nyo itong binibigay ko para maramdaman ng marami ang kaharian mo. Ang langit sa lupang ito. So thank you so much for those who continue to give to us. The Lord will reward you. Siya na ang magbabalik niyan sa inyo. Hindi ako, hindi ko po kaya yan. No? Kaya ikaw na yan, ang Diyos at ikaw. That is your covenant with the Lord. Those who are tithing, remember it is your covenant with Jesus. And thank you for giving your tithes here in, at the feast. Through the feast. Giving your tithe to God through the feast. Thank you so much. May the Lord return this, your giving, your love offering, your tithes, a hundredfold. In Jesus' name, amen. Talk number six, death versus resurrection. We are in this subsection where Jesus answers three questions from religious leaders, di ba? So if some modern Christians are so focused in going to heaven and they want to forget the earthly life, we now meet guys who don't even believe in the afterlife. Ito na, itong grupo na to. Matthew 22 verse 23, it says, That same day, Jesus was approached by some Sadducees. Tingnan niyo yan. Sadducees. Hindi siya Pharisee. Siya ay Sadducee. Religious leaders who say there is no resurrection from the dead. Who are the Sadducees? Sino ba yan? Well, how are they different from the Pharisees? No? The word Sadducee is derived from Zadok. Z-A-D-O-K. That's the high priest during the time 
of King David and King Solomon, the Old Testament. You know, the Sadducees were a sect or a unique group in religious, in Israel's religious leadership. They were a very small group, but they were very influential and very rich. So isipin nyo na, naka, ano yan, naka Lamborghini pag dumarating. Parang ganun, mahihaman talaga. Matataas ang kanilang posisyon. The Sadducees accepted only the written law of the time. What is that? The Torah. What is Torah? The Torah is the five first five books of the Bible. They don't accept the next one, the prophets, the prophetic books. Di nila yan tinatanggap. Itong lima lang, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Yan lang ang inunguya nila. Hindi nila Talagang masyadong tanggap yung mga book ng Amos, Isaiah, hindi masyado. Bakit? Pag binasa nyo yung mga prophetic books sa Bible, you will see that the Sadducees were the ones criticizing the prophets. Di ba? So ayaw nila yan kasi yung mga leaders nila nung araw, yun ang lumaban sa propeta. So ayaw nila at meron pa. The Sadducees did not believe in the existence of spirit. Spirits. Yung mga espiritu, hindi sila naniniwala dyan. Naalala ko noon, um, nagsulat ako ng religion textbooks for high school students. Apat na ano yan, first year to fourth year. Tapos, part of writing it, kasi kailangan nagmamadali na ako, so I need to get some team to help me out. So tatlo kami na nag-decide, tumira tayo sa isang bahay. Itong bahay na to katabi ng publishing office. Pakinggan nyo ito ha? Talagang mangingilabot kayo ng konti. Katabi ng publishing office. Doon kami itinira ng publishing office. Mga five days. Magsulat lang kayo. Kami na magdadala ng pagkain. Ganon. So pagdating namin doon, sulat kami. Tatlo, ganyan. We discuss. Ganyan. Pero may kanya-kanya kaming kwarto. Ito na. Dinadala kami ng pagkain. Nung mga guards, nung mga ganyan. Alam niyo, after mga five days kami dyan, mga three days na, yung garden na nag-aabot sa amin, nagtatanong. At ang tanong nila, Sir, wala ho ba kayo nararamdaman? Sabi ko, ano nararamdaman ko? Ano yun? Di, dito. Wala ba nagpapakita sa inyo? <laughs> What? <laughs> Sir, marami ho dito. Ha? Nagpapakita. Talaga. So talaga, ha? So parang, hala, Lalo kung na- na-conscious ako bigla, may nagpaparamdam daw dito. Alam mo yung kasama ko, he's a master's in philosophy. Alam mo, sagot niya sa akin. Ganito kasimple. Hush! Huwag kang maniwala dyan. Sabi ko, bakit? Sabi niya ito. Yan? It is a molecular impossibility. Yung mga espiritu na tumatagos sa mga pader. It's a molecular impossibility. Sinisip ko, Ano, paano, paano nga? Molecular impossible. So ako, kinuha ko yun, nilagay ko sa isip ko, sa ko, sige, alam nyo, for five days, wala kami naramdaman. Wala kami nakita. Wala kami naamoy. Walang gumalaw na makortina. Wala! It's a molecular impossibility. The Sadducees, the same. Para sa kanila, walang espiritu, walang ghost, wala lahat yan. Walang afterlife, walang resurrection of the dead. Pag namatay ka, patay ka na. That's it. No more. You are gone. But the Sadducees were not like the Pharisees who believed in the resurrection. The Pharisees believed in the supernatural. They believe in angels, demons, heaven, hell. The word Pharisee comes from the Hebrew and Aramaic word. Hebrew is their religious language. Aramaic is their daily language. Ang word na Pharisee ay galing sa salitang parush or parushi, meaning separated. Also, Pharisees, it's an ancient Jewish group. Okay? The Pharisees were called separ- separate separatist nakahiwalay because they strictly observe the written law as well as the traditional law. And then here comes Jesus. Jesus believed in the resurrection of the dead. So ito na. 
yung mga Pharisees na ito, ito ang plano nila. Sila naman ngayon magtatanong. They shared a silly story of a wife who had seven husbands to prove that the resurrection of the dead was a silly idea as well. Pero yung plan nila, bumalik sa kanila. This is the story. Read it. Verse 23. They posed this question, Teacher, Moses said, If a man dies without children, his brother should marry the widow and have a child who will carry on the brother's name. Well, suppose there were seven brothers. The oldest one married and then died without children. So his brother married the widow. But the second brother also died. And the third brother married her. This continued with all seven of them. Last of all, the woman also died. So tell us, whose wife will she be in the resurrection? For all seven were married to her. <laughs> Alam mo yung kwento niya, parang science fiction or uh, parang mga fairy tales. No? But not at that time. Because they had this thing called the leverate marriage. You will find this out in Deuteronomy chapter 25. This is a mosaic law. Si Moses ang nagdecree nito. It was designed to continue the family line of the man who died childless to preserve his name and possession. So very practical yung law na yan. May mga gumagawa niyan siguro nung panahon noon. Uh, ano yan? Ulitin ko, no? There's a brother of a dead guy who married his widow. Di ba? Ganyan yan eh. Papakasalan mo, namatay kasi. So yung kapatid na single, papakasalan niya yung, yung, ano niya, yung sister-in-law niya. Ganyan. Actually, ako, I think, this question has been debated by the Sadducees for centuries. Sila-sila mismo nagdi-discuss niya. Yan yung tanong nilang walang makasagot na matino. Now, they ask this question to Jesus. But Jesus blows them away with his answer. Grabe ang sagot ni Jesus. So, ito ang tanong ng mga Sadducees, no? Kasi sila, wala, hindi talaga sila niniwala pag namatay ka, patay ka na. Kaya, kaya oh, sige nga, ikaw, ano sagot mo? O, oh, ito na. Ito po ang sagot ni Jesus. Can I warn all the K-drama fans here? Can I warn you? Because you will be shocked by the answer of Jesus. Ha? Humawa kayo sa mga upuan nyo, kayong mga K-drama fans. Why? Because you might revolt with the answer of Jesus. Magrarally ho kayo. At ang asawa ko ang maglilid sa inyo sa complain na ito. Ha? Siya ang leader ng revolusyon <laughs> sa sagot ni Jesus. Oo, kasi itong asawa ko. Pag tinitingnan niya ako, napapansin ko lately, parang ang nakikita niya sa akin ay si Chief Hong. Grabe. Labi ko pa lang parehong-pareho na. Diba? Skin pa kaya? Kaya, siya ang magre-revolt dito. Siya ang leader ninyo, mga k-drama fans. <laughs> because this was the answer of Jesus. Jesus replied, Your mistake is that you don't know the scriptures and you don't know the power of God. For when the dead rise, they will neither marry nor be given in marriage. In this respect, they will be like the angels in heaven. You know, Jesus says, there is no marriage in heaven. What? Wala, wala. Why did Jesus say that? Yeah. Because he believed that the renewed creation, the new heavens and the new earth, is broader, bolder, bigger, brighter, and better than anything we've ever experienced. You get that? Naalala ko yung isang misis na matay, umakyat ng langit, at doon sa gate ng langit, sinalubong siya ni San Pedro. At si Saint Peter, sabi sa kanya, gusto mong pumasok sa langit? Sabi nung babae, opo, okay. May requirement dito. Ano po yun? Spelling. Spelling. 
kinabahan yung babae, hindi siya magaling si spelling. Ano pong i-spell ko? Ah, napaka-simple. Spell love. Uy, L-O-V-E. Okay, enter heaven. Yun, ganun lang. Nakapasok na sa langit. After a few years, si Peter, tinawag niya yung babaeng yun. Halika nga, ikaw nga muna magbantay sa gate. Magsi-CR lang ako. Ganun si Peter, nag-CR. <laughs> diba? So yung babae, nandoon. Siya ang nagbabantay ng gate. Biglang nakita niya yung mister niya. Nagulat, ang katinginan sila. Oh, ano nangyari sa iyo? Sabi niya, ako. Nako. Nung may sakit ka, sabi nung mister niya doon sa misis, ay nung may sakit ka. ba? Diba? May nurse kang nag-aalaga sa iyo. Sabi, oh, 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 nung namatay ka, yung nurse naging asawa ko. Sama ng mukha ng misis. Naging asawa mo? Oo. Oh, oh. Tapos, talagang mahal na mahal ko siya. Parang pagmamahal ko sa iyo. Sabi nung mister. Tapos, ang ginawa namin, bumili kami ng malaking bahay. Hmm. Parang nagagalit na yung misis. Hmm. Tapos, namasyal kami all over the world. Yung hindi natin nagawa. Ganyan. Hmm. Parang galit na yung misis. Ganyan ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Tapos, habang namamasyal kami, na aksidente ako, namatay ako. Kaya ako nandito. Gusto ko sanang pumasok ng langit, sabi nung mister. Sabi nung misis, ah, may requirement pagpasok dito. Sabi niya, anong requirement? mag spell ka. Spelling? Okay. Oh. Napaka-simple. Anong i-spell ko? Sabi nung mister. Sabi nung misis, spell Czechoslovakia. <laughs> Sige nga. <laughs> spell mo nga Czechoslovakia. Sa kanya, love lang. Ito, Czechoslovakia. Yan ang ibig sabihin nito, no? Hindi yan ang concept of new heaven and new earth na may galit pa rin tayo sa mga tao na ang mahal mo lang ay pamilya mo, no? It will be zillion times better. Oh, I want you to use your imagination, ha? Huh? Sabihin natin, ha? Huh? Just use your imagination. Once upon a time, we were a fetus. Tayo lahat. Our lungs started to develop when we were four weeks old. Oh, makinig, mga anak, ha? Huh? Homeschooling ko kayo, ha? Tinuturuan namin kayo. So, Johan, listen. Para alam mo, you develop your lungs when you were four weeks old. Yan, anatomy tayo. By 30 weeks, our lungs were complete. But we were not inhaling air. We were inhaling liquid. Grabe. Ha? What? Oh. Hindi hangin ang hinihinga natin sa tiyan ng ating mga nanay. Tubig. Talaga, aquaman, aquamuman tayong lahat. We were receiving oxygen through our umbilical cord. Ito na. But one day, we moved out of our comfortable home called the uterus. And in the delivery room, we took our first breath of oxygen. Tapos yung umbilical cord was cut. And we started living in a vast world that we could never have imagined. Let us say, yung nanay mo at ikaw, paglabas mo pa lang, meron kayong mental telepathy. Nag-uusap kayong dalawa. At ito ang sabi ni mami mo sa'yo, baby, your life will be very different outside my womb. Baby, imagine the blue skies, the green trees, Lovely mountains, wide oceans, may coffee dito, may donut, may pizza, merong uh, Jollibee spaghetti, may basketball, may dancing, may Netflix, may K-drama, may YouTube. Can you imagine? You were overwhelmed. You cannot imagine that. Why? A fetus won't be able to fathom. A little child won't be able to fathom all those things at once. And that is exactly what the renewed creation is to us. We have no categories for it. Sa Tagalog, tingnan nyo ako mga kaibigan, ha? sa Tagalog, ang renewed creation ay ano, <clears throat> hindi mo siya kayang maaro, matanto, madalumat. Lale, ano? Yeah, di talaga. Parang ganito. O, tingnan nyo ito. Hmm. Look at that. Na, iintindihan nyo ba yan? T, lapia. T, <laughs> lapia. Grabe, no? Ah, hirap intindihin. Talaga, may ganyan ba? Oh, ito, mas kaya pang intindihin siguro. Oh, tingnan nyo, next. 
plain rice. Ah, ang galing lang gumawa nito. Ah, pwede, kaya mo maintindihan eh, plain rice. Pero ito, hindi ko na talaga maintindihan. Tingnan nyo. New arrival. Long sleeveless. <laughs> ah, kaya nyo ba yan? <laughs> Ewan ko, pakipaliwanag po sa akin. ha? Pag nagkita-kita tayo sa live feast natin, malapit na, maybe December. Paliwanag nyo yung long sleeveless na yan sa akin. Ha? Ay, ganyan ang renewed creation. Hindi mo masyadong maarok at matanto. It's mystery. But we always believe that God would like to level us up. All right? But there is another message I'd like to bring out. In Matthew 22 verse 30, Jesus said, For when the dead rise, they will neither marry nor be given in marriage. When Jesus said those words, <clears throat> he was saying something important and deep. Are you ready for this deep message of God? Are you sure? If you are ready, uh, type, I am ready. Go. I am ready. I am ready. Sige nga. Naku, malalim to. Palalim tayo ng palalim, ng palalim. Ha? Pag ready kayo, eto na. Sige. Very good. I am ready. I am I. I am plain rice. Hindi, hindi yun. I am ready <laughs> ang sagot. No? Again, when Jesus said, For when the dead rise, they will neither marry nor be given in marriage, He was saying something important and deep. If you're ready, this is what He was telling us. The meaning of life is not marriage, but love. The meaning of life is not marriage, but love. May mga namit na ako, mga singles, Ang ultimate goal nila is to marry their GG. Their GG. Alam niyo yung GG? Hindi siya galunggong. No? GG is their God's gift. Ang tawag nila sa magiging asawa nila, God's gift. That is their ultimate goal in life. Marriage is great. Believe me. God believes in marriage. He invented it. Siya umimbento niyan. But, eto na. Life is more than marriage. Remember, Jesus was celibate. He was single. Are you single? And thinking of permanent celibacy. Yung talaga, hindi, hindi talaga ako mag-aasawa. Eh. Single lang ako. Eh. You know, the gift of celibacy is loving a larger family. Imbis na meron lang akong isang mamahalin, asawa ko. Ikaw, kaya mong mahalin ng marami. Hindi para ituring na asawa sila. Hindi. Para magmahal ng marami. Imbis na mamahalin ko yung mga anak ko lang, tinuturing mo na, anak mo ang marami. Hindi para mahalin sila na parang anak mo na pwede mong uh, lamutakin, halik-halika. Hindi, you don't do that. But the gift of celibacy is loving a larger family. That is why, let me give this statement to you, celibacy is prophetic. <clears throat> it is prophetic pointing to the renewed creation where we can love more persons. Yun ang langit na ano, ang dahil mong minamahal. Lalo na pag nakita mo yung kaaway mo, mahal mo siya doon sa langit. Grabe, no? Oo, mahal mo siya. Kasi zillion times better. And finally, Jesus delivers His checkmate to the rabbinic debate. Why we should believe in the resurrection of the dead? Bakit ba? Ito na. Alam niyo, mga Sadducees, again, they only read the Torah. The first five of the 39 books of the Hebrew Bible. So, Jesus answered them, in proving to them the resurrection from the dead, Jesus had to quote from the book they have been reading for the rest of their lives, the Torah. Yun din ang ginamit niya. And Jesus said in verse 31 to 32, <clears throat> But now, as to whether there will be a resurrection of the dead, haven't you ever read about this in the scriptures? Long after Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob had died, God said, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. So he is the God of the living, not the dead. When the crowds heard him, 
they were astounded at his teaching. Here's why Jesus believed in the resurrection of the dead. Look at what I'm going to tell you. Huh? Listen, my dear friends, because this is the good news of all. Bakit naniniwala si Jesus sa resurrection of the dead? Actually, bakit niyang dinesisyonan ang Diyos na mabubuhay tayo muli itong katawan natin? Bakit? Ito po ang sagot. Napakagandang sagot. Nguyain niyo ng buong linggo. Kasi napakaganda. He believed in this. He decided that this should happen to us. That we will resurrect from this. Because God's relationship with us is so strong, it cannot be terminated by death. It is so strong. Hindi pa payag ang Diyos. Natapos ka na niyang mahalin. Kasi namatay ka na. <laughs> I want you to look around you. There is so much death, so much darkness everywhere. And it is very easy to give up. But look at me, my dear friends. Do not give up. Let us not give up. Why? Because we are the resurrection people. We are. God's love will conquer death. Don't give up. You are a resurrection person. This is our burning hope that we will rise from the dead and we will be part of the renewed creation. If you are losing hope, I want you to look at Jesus on the cross. Ha? Pag nawawala ka ng pag-asa, tingnan mo si Jesus sa cross. Bakit? Because Jesus himself had this hope ablaze with him when he was there hanging on the cross. Oh, may pag-asa si kaya kaya nung namamatay si Jesus kaya niya magpatawad kaya nung namamatay at sinasaktan si Jesus pinapatay siya kaya niya pa rin magmahal bakit? kasi may pag-asa ang nag-uumapaw sa kanyang puso nung siya ay nakapako sa krus ano yan? while everything around Jesus was still Good Friday Easter Sunday was already exploding in His heart It was already exploding in His heart. So look at the cross and you will see hope there. So my dear friends, are you going through Good Friday right now? Are you losing hope? Are you wondering, where are you, Lord, in this darkness? Asan ka na, Panginoon? Diba? Lahat tayo dumaan dyan. Kayong mga nagka-COVID, kayong nawala ng trabaho, kayong nagsara ng business, kayong nagkasakit, kayong namatayan, tayong mga may problema, lahat tayo dumating sa point na nawawalan ka ng pag-asa. If this is you now, I want you to hold on to hope because you are a part of the resurrection people. And let me tell you this, you're in Good Friday now, believe me, your Easter Sunday is coming. Your Easter Sunday is coming. Let that hope in you come out today because your Easter Sunday is coming. There is hope there. God is with you now. Let Him heal you. Let Him give you hope. Let Him give you new life. Let Him refresh you today because your blessing, your miracle, your Easter Sunday is coming. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, you know we're in Good Friday and we call it good because of the gift you have given to us, your life. It is Good Friday, the trials. We say it will be for our best because there is a better day coming. The Easter Sunday is coming. May magandang mangyayari pa sa amin, Panginoon. Buhay pa kami. Kahit may sakit, kahit may kulang, kahit talpa, kahit buhay kami, Panginoon, sapagkat may pag-asa at may parating na malaking biyaya sa aming lahat. 
I pray for my brothers and sisters, O oh Lord, that they will hold on to hope. Whatever situation they're in right now, give them hope. Whisper to their ears that Easter Sunday is coming. Because you're a living God. And we receive your word today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let's continue to worship our God and let the Holy Spirit complete His message to you. All the battles I have lost All have gone and been hope You can make a way Yes, Lord, we say thank you for being with us in this journey, for giving us hope. We lift up to you all our dreams, all our prayers. They are yours. We pray that you say yes to them. This is our prayer. Protect each and every one of us and just give us your love, your abundance, your grace, your joy, and your peace. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for being with us. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We invite you, Quarry Start tomorrow. We have a new theme, and let the Lord continue to speak to you in this uh, week. And also, we invite you to join I Give, I Give uh, Club. All the partners, we have our anniversary, our 11th anniversary call, continuing the call to serve and give, okay? All the details of this is in our Facebook page. If you want to join I Give, let us know because I Give has been helping so many, many people, so many works for the Lord. Uh, just to let you know that uh, ang mga parokya po ay nahihirapan din sa panahon ngayon, the parishes in lalo na sa Pilipinas, no? kasi na, ang tagal, walang simba. But you know that Feast Alabang, we continue to give our tithes 
to the parish in San Roque. So pat- patuloy ho yan. Di yan tumigil. Ginagawa natin noon yan when we were in Bellevue and we continue to give the tithes and they are very thankful. Now, I give decided. The board decided to also help out other parishes. And so we are giving actually four parishes. We are giving them monthly something. No? Na may pera tayong binibigay sa kanila. Kaya nakakatulong. We, we chose the really the poorest of the parishes here in our district. Kaya yan po ang I give at nagbibigay din yan ang I give sa ating uh, online ministry. Thank you so much. Please continue to uh, be part of this wonderful blessing of the Lord I give. Thank you, Lord. So anniversary natin yan. Amen. Please watch the videos of my children. Helene, yung kanyang gratitude weekend. Mamaya siguro mag, mag, uh, ano yan, magpo-post again. And also Johan. Johan posted a video in his YouTube, King Yogang, yesterday. And it's a challenge, an interview with Brother Obet Cabrillas. Matatawa na kayo, matututo pa kayo, no? Ang saya niyan. So we invite you to be part of that uh, YouTube uh, ministry of my of my son also my daughter so ganyan kaming lahat nagdecide na ang buong pamilya na ano let us really make people hopeful during this time and i would like to thank all the servants of feast alabang oh lalo na tong feast natin sa Bellevue AM that what we have been doing thank you for what you do and we're excited na kasi nag-ease up na ang lockdown natin ano Uh, baka magkita-kita muli tayo sa live feast. We are praying that this December, let's pray, we can see each other in Bellevue Hotel. Kahit isang beses lang. For our feast Christmas gathering. Let's pray about that. So lahat ng mga bakunado at matatapang, pwede tayong magkita-kita. Ha? Yan po. Let's pray about that. Thank you once again, but we'll see you tomorrow and quarry start god bless you Thank you.